passion and purity ministries. Yes, finding our passion, embracing our purity. That's what it's all about. And he's the man in ministry this year, Monday afternoon. So let's jump right on and hear what he has to share with us on this year, Monday. Good afternoon to you, Pastor Andrew Norman. How are you doing? Good, thank you, Mark Land. Good, good, and good. Greetings to the radio audience. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we look forward to our interviews on a Monday right here on Gospel J.A. Just to find out a little bit more about these people that we hear. With. Then we get to under, get a little bit a better understanding as to who this trade teacher and guidance counselor is. Andrew Norman. Talk to us, sir. Because I see you launch a big, big, big of, of, um, thing with passion and purity and all these things. So... Who is, who is Andrew Norman? Okay, well, Andrew Norman is a little country boy from the parish of Portland. From Portland? Where in Portland are you from? <laughs> Actually, born in Portland, Tony, um, went to primary school in Buffy. Uh-huh. Yeah, and of course, went back to teach me high school. All right. Actually, myself and another student were the only students from grade five uh -huh. to pass the common entrance. To go to um, teach me. Oh, 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 I see. So you see, you're from the country. So are you from a large family or a small family? Uh, fairly large. When you say fairly um, large, how many brothers? Okay. I have one. I had overall three brothers. Uh -huh. One died at three years old. Sorry to hear that. Yes. Thank you. Uh huh. So, so three brothers? Uh -huh. And um, let me see, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I have um, five sisters. Well, it's on both sides, that's why it's kind of difficult. On both sides, my mother and father have different. Oh, sets your mother, of children. Oh, oh, the, they weren't married? No, no. Oh, okay, they separated so, when I was four years old. Oh, so you have, you, have, you have brothers and sisters on your father's side and you have some on your mother's right, side. Right. <laughs> yeah. I know those settings, I tell you. All right, sounds good. And 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 um, so so so, in in terms of you, you where, where do you fall on your, on your mother's side? You are the first or the last for your mother? I'm actually the first for both my parents. Okay, okay, okay. So you <laughs> so so, so all, all the responsibilities were were, were 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 leveled at your feet. Yes, you know how that is. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so you you had to, you you really had to live up to your expectation and set the path for your for, for your siblings. Right, right. Good. And sacrifice for them too. And sacrifice for them too. That that is that is so true. Because that you, we 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 see where you you end up being a, a trained teacher. So I want to believe that you are big on education. Well, yes. Uh, even though I never saw myself um, there. Okay. I actually wanted to be a medical doctor originally. Okay. So oh, you end up being a teacher. <laughs> um. Okay. Good question. <laughs> I ended up um being instructed by the Lord to go work on a cruise ship after working with TAJ for uh, about a year and a half. Uh -huh. And I did seven years on a cruise ship traveling all over the world, Whoa. passenger cruise ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then came back to Jamaica, didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to waste my money. Right. And I, had, I was earning US dollars at the time. Right. So, um, so I decided, listen, I love the Lord and I'm going to go all out for ministry, which I did for 12 years. Whoa! So, 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 so you, 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 you got saved as, as, as a tender at an early age? Yes, I got saved in Portland when I was 15 years old. At 15? The church I've got a box to over there. Oh yeah. my goodness! And so, so at what time did you realize that the, the, the call of the Lord was on your life? Actually, it's interesting. As soon as I got saved, mm. I knew that I was supposed to be a leader in the body of Christ. Okay. And um, so I said to myself, Lord, just give me a very good paying job because mm. I don't like the idea of collecting offerings. Okay. And um, I want to be able to pay my way through, but, you know, not knowing that that's not God's methodology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but that was my heart. And I heard so much about, you know, church, and it's all about money and all of that from the right. auntie. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you, you mentioned, too, that, you know, you, you, you got this job on a cruise. It was, it was, it was more like a cruise ship? Right, a passenger cruise ship, Royal well, Caribbean cruise line. All right, so tell me some of the places that you've been to. Oh, wow. Oh, oh places that you have been to. <laughs> well, okay, I did the east coast of the United States, Miami to the Caribbean, uh -huh. Islands, Bahamas, uh -huh. Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, 
uh, for quite a while, mm -hmm. and then and then I transitioned from uh, St. Thomas down to Trinidad. Okay. We did that for a while, and actually went through the Panama Canal once, mm -hmm. ended up on the west coast of the United States after a while, and did the Mexico, Los Angeles um, run, and then Los Angeles, Vancouver, and also Vancouver, Alaska. Uh, well, and you did this while you were a Christian? Of course. Yes. Really? How, 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 how challenging was that? Because, come on, man, now, talk to that, me now, yeah, Reverend, Reverend man, because, yes. because you, were, you were on the sea. You were on these uh -huh. lovely a cruise sailor. lines. You're a sailor. Not Lots of girls, lots of stuff going on. You the different spots. And you say, boy, why come back to Jamaica? Why not just have a life right here? How, how, how challenging was that for you to really keep, you know, you know, stay focused, keep your mind on the Lord, and, and, and just know that, boy, this is just a means to an end? Yes, well, you know, as a seaman, it is very challenging. Mm -hmm. um, my stepfather wanted me to work on this cruise ship as soon as I left high school, but okay. my mind was more set on being a uh, tertiary trained. Right, right. And so if I ever knew that God wanted me to go on a ship, which he actually told me to specifically, mm -hmm. um, I would have gone to, like, see my, you know, Right. And my time right, right, and get right. trained to make some good money as mm -hmm. an engineer or something. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but um yeah, God was good. He kept me those seven years. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and seven years uh, at sea. Right. Oh my goodness. And came back with a testimony. I think if if I wasn't sure that the Lord had sent me, I mean I would not have done survived. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of Christians went to the yeah, last year wow. testimony. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so it's important to follow the Lord. Right, you know? but the Lord kept you at sea for seven years, seven and, years and brought you back on land and that's when you ventured into teaching? No, actually when I came back I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so mm -hmm. I just went full-time ministry for... Full-time uh, ministry? Right. Because you, 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 had enough, you had enough U.S. dollars save up to... to I'm can... telling you. <laughs> yeah. To do your and thing. the thing about it, God did not even wait until the money ran out. He mm -hmm. started to instruct my wife and I mm -hmm. where to give the money and who to give the money to. Okay, okay. But that's fact, we had 600 U.S. dollars in a drawer one time, and the Lord told me to give it to a young man that mm -hmm. I know in my in, in Port Antonio oh my. to help him to get a job on the ship. Right, right, and right. And I did it. And a couple of days later, thieves broke into the house and went into that very same drawer. And couldn't find the money, eh? That's right. He I, there. Yeah, I tell you. So, so mm -hmm. when you when you came back when you came back from 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 sea, you started doing you started you went out into full time ministry. Yes, uh -huh. I I pretty much did a year of fasting and prayer. One year. Not straight, oh. but a lot of fasting and okay. prayer for a year and uh -huh. teaching the Lord. Okay. Because I knew that he had plans for me, mm -hmm. ministry-wise and right. otherwise. Right, right, right. So, so when, I, when you came back, you, you had a wife at the time when you came back or...? or, or... Yes, okay. yes, I actually proposed to my wife the very same year I was going to work on the cruise ship. You, you so, proposed to her when, you were, when you're going on the cruise ship? So when you get married to her, when you marry her? Okay, three years later. Jesus, save a pilot, me no. No, man. No, man. No. That's a good woman. That's a good woman. Yes, yes, she yes, waited yes, on yes. you three years after you proposed. Well, the proposal was out of obedience to the Lord and knowing that he was with me. Mm -hmm. uh, because the night when he gave me the instruction about working on the ship, he also spoke to me about finding her the same time mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Mm -hmm and proposing to her and i'm like lord um she's finally a cast and yes. i don't do those things mm -hmm. i'm a gentleman mm -hmm. but the lord wasn't going to be debating with me Whoa. so when i proposed to her in april um and that's back in the day when we had to write letters and stuff God have mercy. See, 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 you, you, you didn't see her in terms of um, you were to go down on your knee and bow and all them kind of things and give her the ring. You wrote to her and asked her to marry you? Yes. We moved before any kind of dating or anything. I met her, actually proposed to her at the National Arena, mm -hmm. the, prophecy, the Church of God of Prophecy National Convention. Okay. <laughs> no, this, this, the this, arena. this is interesting. Yeah, near to where I met her for the first time. Okay. And you proposed yeah. to her, and she said yes. No! What? <laughs> Remember, we had no such relationship. We were just friends. 
Yes. Yes, so she never expected that. Okay. So she actually confessed that she was actually upset by the proposal because she's like, you know, you have these nice relationships with these guys and then they get all so butterflies. She, so you and, her, you and I never have that kind of conversation no, with your boy. Never, she's never your girlfriend and you are a boyfriend. So, you no. know, you, so you, you, you're on good footing now to buy a ring and propose. No, not no, not before that night. We had no romantic <laughs> conversation. Oh my goodness. So when you proposed, what happened? Well, I knew the Lord had already spoken to me what would happen. Uh -huh. Told me that she would think I'm crazy. Uh-huh. And that I would have to be patient mm -hmm. because there are some other guys around. Whoa. So he would have to take care of the time. Whoa. So I knew all that was going to happen. So I was prepared to be patient. Yes. So I really had to be patient. I spent a year away. We communicated by phone when I was better. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And um, when I came back, she kind of half said yes. <laughs> <laughs> she said, ye. And then you never get the yes. she, she wasn't too sure. So, oh, Lord. You know, it's like, I had to just believe that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But you knew that this was a woman for you, though. Right, because God has spoken to me, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. And then three years after, the rest we can say is history. Right, right. Oh. 1990, we got married. Right? 1990, you got married. And what mm -hmm. happened after that? Well, I continued on the cruise ship for another four years. What? Uh, but I cut, I cut a long one year mm -hmm. away thing. Mm -hmm. and, and was only doing like six months. Six months, right, right. You know, right. maybe four months sometimes. Okay. Yeah. I see. But, but then we finally, I was in Canada, in Vancouver, and spoke to her. And mm -hmm. as soon as I hung up the phone, I knew I needed to come back home. Oh. So we were heading to Alaska, and I told my boss that I quit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And he was very concerned because he was a Jamaican. Uh -huh. And he tried to persuade me. But um, I normally realized, I, I, I think that guy's a little smarter than I am. All right. So I just learned to follow his instructions when he speaks. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. you, and you, and you so came back? Came back home, yeah. Uh -huh. And um, we, I pretty much, like I said, spent almost a year doing a lot of fasting and praying. Right. And God began to give us some instructions as to what to do and the things that he was going to do. Okay, okay. And uh, about, uh, shortly after that, I, I started moving really um, actively in ministry mm -hmm. all around, not mm -hmm. just in my local church, okay, but all around the body of Christ. They are preaching and here, the there, and everywhere, and the schools, prisons, yeah, right. Because you also you also served as guidance counselor over at St. George's College and uh, Woman's Boys School. Well, actually, I was a teacher of uh, religious education at St. George's College mm -hmm. only for a year, though. Okay. Yeah, that's way down in 2008, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. But, but, but that was the same time you started the movement um, Passion and Purity. The same year, right. Yes. Right. Talk to us about that. What, 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 what birthed that, that, that movement? Well, my wife had a vision of us being at the foot of and mm -hmm. in a car, mm -hmm. her, myself, and another young lady. Mm -hmm. And uh, she saw some. Ch we saw some children coming around the car, and we just took the bread out of the car and gave it to them. Right. And then it it caused a great explosion of praise in the children, and mm -hmm. they headed up to Price right. Even some big people praised as she said that. Uh -huh. Ever since she shared it, I knew it was more than just a dream. Right. It was a vision of the night. Okay. And a year later, passion and purity exploded. What That's is passion and purity? Day. Sorry? What is Passion and Purity? Well, it's a youth movement um, similar to ICF mm -hmm. in the way it operates. It's, it's in schools. Mm -hmm. The slogan we use is finding your passion. Mm -hmm. have that having to do with your career focus, your vocation in life, right. what God wants you to do on the planet. Right. And um, purity, of course, having to do with character development. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that speaks for itself. Right. And what have been the response over the years since you've launched oh this? Oh my this God, it, it was an explosion at Woolman's Girls. Thank mm -hmm. God for Mrs. Colleen Montague, mm -hmm. who was so um, supportive. Right. And um, persons on, on, on radio, 
you know, and just some people that you know, it's that just brought everybody together and it just lit up this island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with with praise and with the glory of God. Right. And there was just a sound that was released across the island. Mm -hmm. Over these 12 years, we have seen so many youth ministries strengthened. Right. ICF, everywhere we go, ICF explode. Mm -hmm. We have had conferences in, uh, I think about 17 high school conferences. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, something similar to rallies, but right. a lot more word focused. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we normally pr we have produced like 19 books oh. to, to um, you know, with a subject focus and youth issues mm -hmm. loaded with youth issues and questions right. and and you're also big and you're also big on marriages too. Why? Yes. Um, well, number one, God spoke to me about my wife, and He fought for me and and. and made sure that he secured her for me uh -huh. um, and uh, you know so my marriage is is is, is according to God's instruction uh -huh. and of course I love the natural side but you know that's right. the other side of it uh -huh. and uh, we know that marriage is a type of Christ on the church uh -huh. you know and so last year we had a big marriage week which we plan to have a family week actually okay and that's a theme that we're using this year's family. Family, right, right, and right. Compassion right. and purity. And it's really very impactful. Mm -hmm. So marriage is big on our agenda. We believe in marriage. We have a marriage with honorable focus group mm -hmm. with a number of couples. Okay. There are times when we have our Zoom meetings with 40 or 50 couples. Whoa. Uh, so we are mentoring couples locally and also have um you know these so while so what while some marriage is not working out you still believe that marriage is the right way and that's the way to go and, and you encourage that certainly right. certainly you, i think a lot of times the way how people go into it mm -hmm. is what causes a lot of divorce mm -hmm. for example they don't go into it properly okay uh they don't get marriage counseling for one okay they aren't they, they many times are not um, sure of the will of God inside of it okay. and the blessing of God on it. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times I find people go into these secret relationships mm -hmm. and nobody knows about it and there's so much hurt and disappointment. Mm -hmm. um, just just so many things. Right, right, you right, know, right. The dating right. experience sometimes mm -hmm. is, is so sordid and, mm -hmm. and not honoring to God. Okay, okay. Because of these secret relationships and stuff. Right, right, right. You know, right, we encourage right. group dating. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. With uneven numbers of, of, of gender. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and you, 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 you encourage, um, you know, younger people getting married. The Bible say, you know, that, 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 that your man should leave and cleave and man should not live, live alone. But you do find a lot of men, older men, older women who are still single, they're in the church. Um, right. what, 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 what's your view on that as it relates to a, a, at an age when, when mm -hmm. one should tie the knot? Well, the reality is that not everybody is going to get married. Okay. Uh, marriage is a type of Christ and the church. In other words, the bride of Christ is one with Christ, and that's a revelation that we have come into um, apostolically and uh -huh. prophetically where Christ, no, our bodies, you know, physical bodies is no longer a body of sin. It's the body of Christ. Right. You get filled with the Holy Spirit. How can you know that you're not, you're, you're not going to get married? How do you know that? How do you know? Well, the, the Holy Spirit usually reveals that to you. Mm -hmm. um, it, I know one of my mentors who would love to get married. He's probably near to 60 now. Mm -hmm. Um, and he doesn't hide it and lie to anybody that he doesn't want to get married. But the relationship with the Lord is what is paramount and most important. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if he has that for you, he usually leads your life in in, the, in a way to meet that person. Okay. And if that person robs your, lessens your relationship with God, you know that that's not the person. Oh, I see. So the person, so 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 would would it, would it, would it would it be good? Would it would it be correct to say anybody the the, the person that leads you closer, um, leads your relationship closer to God? That's the one right. for you. 
strengthens the relationship mm -hmm. and also with, with good counseling, make mm -hmm. the relationship accountable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and get the, the help of persons who are not emotionally tied up in the relationship. I, I can tell, tell you the truth. This sounds like another session, I tell you. <laughs> yes, and, yes. And, and, but do, do, you, do you have children? You're also a father? No, I'm not a biological father. Okay. That part, I'm, the Lord, I'm going to ask the Lord to explain that to me when I meet him. Okay, okay. So I wanted five sons and a, and a girl. So you have no kids? No, no biological. Thing. And and how do you treat with that? Because um, the Bible well, says you like should be fruitful and multiply. Yes, like I said, um, my wife is is you know just the best in the world. Mm -hmm. We have weathered a lot of storms. That's mm -hmm. one of the storms we have weathered. Okay. But God has surrounded us with so many children. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and we we have been helping so many children. Right, right, right. That it's you know. Our own nieces and nephews plus the many that are we interact with in right. personal duty. That, that, is, that, is, that is also a, 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 a biggie for a lot of women. They want to have kids. Some men too, right. they want to have a son to carry on the legacy, to carry on their name. Yes, it, yes. It, it, does, does, it, does it affect marriages in terms of yes, you know, it, you know it, not being able to, to, to bear kids? Yeah, it does. But mm -hmm. we need to be honest with each other. Mm -hmm. Like um, for us, the way we reproduce is not just naturally. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of children that we have wanted to the Lord. Right. But in terms <laughs> of your biological children, that's what I'm talking about. Not, not yeah, biological, biological kids. Yes. Right, right. Um, but if the Lord doesn't give that to you, mm -hmm. that conception is from the Lord. Okay. I've known people who say that they are taking all kind of measures not to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they get and pregnant. They, yeah. And, and, I and, mean, and, medical people. Right. And there are those who, who you know, who want are trying to and, and, can't, and can't. And can't. Mm -hmm. and, but you, you know, see that as the will of God. Right, right. Okay. So God can, God is the one who determines that. Mm hmm yeah, because conception is from the Lord. Right, 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 right. What do you say to a couple, the, the fact that you're in it, what do you say to a couple that is listening to you right now? You know, they've been trying how many years now, they love each other, they also mm -hmm. love the Lord, but they're unable to have kids. Right. I mean, there, there are options of adoption. We have, okay. we have fostered a child from just recently, mm -hmm. sent her off to Abu Dhabi to her mother from oh. first to fifth form. Oh. Um, you know, foster children, mm -hmm. adopt children, mm -hmm. you know, care for other children. Right. Yeah. I tell you, when you're not doing all these things, caring for children, running, running, passion and purity movement and all these things, uh, what, 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 what do you do for yourself, uh, Reverend, Reverend uh, Norman? Well, we love to travel. Okay. We've done a lot of traveling mm -hmm. all over the place. Right. Um, we love to run away from things to the country, okay. to the cool, cool hills of St. Anne. All right. Or to my appearance mm -hmm. in, in Portland. Portland. Where there's beach and everything. Right, 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 right. Yeah, and we love to spend time together. We spend a lot of time together. We love mm -hmm. to read. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How important yeah. is that, spending time together? Because, I mean, you, you, you do a lot of ministry together, but um, right. so, so you're always together. So how, how, how important is that? Boy, I don't know how to explain it. When they love each other, mm -hmm. it's like, I can't believe that it's 30 years already. 30 years? Whoa! Yeah, since 1990. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like, we can't have enough of each other. <laughs> after, after 30 years, you still can't have enough of each other. Right, right. That is yeah. awesome. That is awesome. And, and, and the, the secret of, uh, uh, of, of that marriage, the success of the marriage? Well, I think um, when the marriage is built around the Word of God, mm -hmm. and where you have God as an arbitrator, as it were, mm -hmm. it makes a whole world of difference. Okay. Because if I have an opinion, she has an opinion, mm -hmm. we both respect the Word of God. Okay. So that will be like the equalizer. Okay. So it's not a, it's not a, matter, it's not, it's not a case where she's always right. Uh, not really. <laughs> okay, so, so everything, everything you go back to the word. Right. Right, 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 and right. I mean, right. there are some issues that it's neither here nor there. Okay. You have to learn to compromise. Compromise. Each other halfway. Uh, for that's right, that's right, that's right. But, 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 but you, you rely, you rely heavily on the word of God and on the leading of God as it relates to your marriage. Right. 
Okay, okay, okay. Sounds good, sounds good. What, 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 what are some future plans? What, what are some of the plans you have in the pipeline? Um, well, recently the Lord has given us another assignment called Eternal Church. Mm -hmm. um, it is similar to Passion and Purity okay. in the sense that it is kind of like a bridge builder. Mm -hmm. And we are kind of, we don't know exactly how the Lord wants it to be formed and shaped. Mm -hmm. So we have expressed to, you know, the, the, the leaders of the assembly that we, are, we attend that we are seeing it similar to passion and beauty, mm -hmm. somewhat like an interdependent extension because it's just one body. Right. So there's this thing of the vision and that old traditional way of infighting mm -hmm. and strife. Right. Not, it's not um, something that is in our vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, things like separation and all of those words, those words are not in our vocabulary. Awesome, awesome. It's awesome. one body. Sounds good, sounds good. Reverend Andrew, no, I want to say a big thanks for your time, sir, and, 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 I, and I love the stance that you've taken. I love the way that you've been depending and relying on the Lord uh, to lead and to guide and direct you because then it had to be God for you to engage someone and leave them gone for ship for three years and come back <laughs> and him still turn your wife. And 30 years later, you say, look yeah. at God. That must be the leading of the Holy Spirit indeed. As we go, sir, I just going to ask you to pray for Jamaica land we love and pray specifically for marriages because then you seem to have the recipe for successful marriages and we want to we, we, we want to replicate that not only yes, in, in, in your marriage but we want to replicate that right across the body of christ amen, amen. lord you said that marriage is honorable mm -hmm. and the bed is on the side and any other bed is is not clean it's not holy you said you said the whoremongers and adulterers god will judge mm. you said lord that the children of Israel, you killed 23,000 of them in one day because of their sin of fornication. Mm. Father, we pray that you would bring the fear of the Lord upon this land, upon the many who are in relationships in a way that is unholy and unrighteous. You said marriage is honor of the Lord in earth because when we go to heaven, we won't be married like that. So, Lord, you will also judge in the earth. So we pray the fear of the Lord to come upon the many who are living in, in, in unmarried relationships, that, Lord, they will understand that this thing is something that they can do that is honorable, and if they honor you, you will honor them. So, Lord, we seek your honor for ourselves as individuals, for our family life, for our children, our communities, and our nation. Heal our families, Lord, and heal this nation. Touch the education system at this time. Touch the students. Lord, you see the emotional challenges that teachers and students are going through at this time. We ask, Lord, that you'd help us to turn to you, the comforter that has been sent to the earth. As the songwriter said, the comforter has come, the Holy Ghost from heaven, the Father's promise given. We will spread the tiding round wherever man is found. The comforter has come. Help somebody to receive the Holy Ghost today, Lord, because that is how we become children of God. We pray that you will destroy this lie in the church that says that people are saved without the Holy Ghost. And cause us, Father, to be true worshippers of you in this land. We pray for faith tourism, that even as tourists have come from all over the world to come and entertain a religion in this nation, that, Lord, they will come to entertain Jesus and a church that is alive and well and one with Jesus Christ, the true body of Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. And so we thank you, Lord, for your glory coming to this land and destroying everything that the enemy has set up in this land to separate us from you and to separate us from each other. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. I want to say a big thanks for your time, Rev. Reverend Andrew Norman, a teacher, guidance counselor, I tell you, a man of God, the founder, along with his wife, they are the founder of the youth movement, Passion and Purity, with the motto, finding your passion, embracing your purity, and of course, now you're getting ready to launch the Eternal Church. Thanks for your time, my brother, and of course, we'll be in touch. Thank you very much, and God bless you, Jamaica, and the uh, radio audience. All right, bless you, Reverend. Thank bless you. you. All right, they have it listed from Reverend Andrew Norman, and of course, talking to us about marriages, passion and purity, and of course, not having children of his own, 
but he has been fathering quite a number of them. And again, that's it. If you can't, you know, have kids biologically, you can adopt some, and of course, you can still live a fulfilled life, even if your marriage does not produce children.